You got a busy couple of months ahead of you, Benji. That looks a bit shit, if I'm honest. I haven't hit for a month. This is what happens when you don't hit for a month. Yeah, look, that, that's great. Yeah, it's okay. The best traveler. Uh, I think I am better than you at the moment. Oh. At the moment. <laughs> But I'm you only planned. travel from like I'm America planned. and I've traveled Excuse everywhere. Excuse me, I'm very global. I'm LPG, more global LPG than LPGA you. Tour is very global. I know, but I'm, I'm more global. Do you do Asia you. as well? Yeah. Macau. Uh. And Japan. Yeah, she can't talk. Just watch the way that that leg is just collapsing just slightly. The left knee goes a little bit too much. You oh, need yeah. to pressure the ground more through the inside of your left foot. Yeah. But again, like it's all relative, right? So if we don't do a better job at the top of the backswing, then you're going to get moving out through that left knee. Ready to go? Yeah, go again. Thank you. No worries. Richie Smith, golf professional golf coach layabout. Richie has always been there like as a coach, as a friend, as family. I started with him probably when I was 14, 15 and you know he has a really good understanding of the person as well and not just the golf game. He just knows what to say when it gets tough out there so over the years of seeing the progression for both of us it's um it's been really cool to be on this journey with him. Yeah, where we are now is because of him and we're just trying to get better and he's just trying to get better and props to him and what he's done. I met Minji for the first time at Joondalup Country Club on the range there. I think she was 11 or 12 when I first met her. She was different from the moment that I met her. She was very quiet. You could see that she didn't really necessarily have to be part of it as in like the groups, you know, the clicky groups. She was happy just to go and do her own thing. And from the first moment I met her, she, her eyes were different. Like her, you know how you, you look at someone and they may be looking at you, but they're thinking really deeply at the same time. And, and she was different in that her thought was deep. She was obviously hard working, but she was still rough around the edges. My swing was just like a young kid who wanted to hit the ball really hard. We worked really hard together at that point and it was more the mechanics of the swing. I think the other things followed like with the skill and um, you know chipping and putting and things like that. You know now it's more the two percent so it's like the skills and like you know the little flop shots or the things that really you need for with touch. So I think it's just a little bit different from when I was 14 to now. Minji's the girl who gets here at seven o'clock in the morning when it's summer and it's gonna be 40 degrees. And two o'clock in the afternoon, she's still here doing the work, doing the practice. The number of times I've seen her do that through the summer is just outstanding. She's been doing 60 hour weeks since she's 12 years old and doing it with a smile on her face and yeah, she's happy doing that. The post-it notes, they're real. If it was school, then I'd have like the assignments that I needed to get done. I would always have like post-it notes um, of my goals and kind of always been like that. And my parents always kind of taught me to be disciplined and um, be organized and have a good work ethic. So I got it a bit more from how I was growing up. My earliest memory of Minwoo would be the little brother not wanting to do anything that the older sister was doing. So she was there working hard. He was working as little as possible. He was having as much fun as possible. She was having fun in her own way, but in a very different way. And um, he's still like that. <laughs> what club have you got there? Eight. Eight, so if we're working on two and a half uh, mile an hour increments, we should be at 92 and a half with your eight iron. Okay, so that's at 97 and a half. <laughs> it's quick. Doesn't feel quick at all. 
He's always been hard to pin down on the on the on the golf course. I mean, he doesn't train like other people. He trains in a competitive environment, and he doesn't like doing technical stuff. A lot of the pros will go to the chipping green and they'll just put down 20 balls and they'll chip into the same hole. Min would get bored of that in two seconds. So Min just wants to compete. I met Minwoo first um, when I was, I'd have to say, 11 or 12. Got paired with him in a junior tournament down in Bunbury uh, at the time, I think I was 12. My putter head came off with nine holes to play and I was playing with Min and we've always laughed and looked back at that since. We, we lift each other's game up where we're both super competitive and we both don't like to lose, but he's a really good player and it's just good to have someone like, like himself to, to practice with and grow both our games. When he's on the putting green putting or hitting balls on the range or on the western range chipping and, and practicing, there's, he's usually with there with some other kids it's really good competitive practice for him because he doesn't like getting beaten. And, you know, they have uh, challenges. And even just yesterday, the boys were on the rain, uh, the bottom putting green. And, uh, you know, they were having these competitions and chipping. And then they had to have a playoff. So what they did, they got the air hose and they had the air hose sticking up, the ball balancing on top of the air hose. And they were chipping balls off the outer air with it balanced on the air hose. So they have fun. But while they're doing it, they're practicing and learning skills. So they're just, they're just like having fun. The interesting thing about Min is that for all of his uh, eccentricities and the way that he likes to train the competition stuff, he's actually really data driven. We standardized his lengths into two and a half uh, mile an hour increments. Five iron was about 100 miles an hour, I think and then, you know, um, seven irons at 95, say. But that allowed us to go to a golf course, work to those speeds, and then work at how far that was going at every different golf course. I'm a long hitter, so let's say there's a drivable par four and my wedge game is not as good as, you know, the top pro. So if I hit it into that spot, you know, I'm probably not gaining as much as strokes gain, as they call it on the golf course, in that wedge area. So. With my driving though, I'm, I'm positive, you know, most of the time because I hit it so long and hit it somewhat straight. So if I hit it near the green and my chipping is so good that I'm probably going to make more birdies from there than from when someone lays up for 50 yards or 50 metres. So it, it's definitely the one percenters. That stuff is the difference between good and great. Minji's the exact opposite. She normally just scopes the length of the shot when she gets there, then works out what it is relative to a normal length. And if you don't miss the middle of the club face, then it becomes pretty easy to work out how far your club's going. And they're two really different people that you would think would be the exact opposite. But again, that's the difference between the two.